Today we will be covering lesson 14-3 on evaluating functions and graphing piecewise defined linear functions. This lesson will be split into two separate sections, questions 1 to 3 and questions 4 to 5. Let's go ahead and get started on 1 to 3. It says rewrite the piecewise defined feeding function that you wrote in item 9 in lesson 14-2. So I'm pulling out yesterday's notes. And I have number 9. He's talk, We're talking about 9B here, this little function right here. So I'm going to copy that over. That function was A of W equals brace W when 0 is less than w, which is less than 20. So these are my restrictions. <clears throat> we got 1 half w plus 10 when we are between 20 pounds and 100 pounds, inclusive, meaning including. And lastly, we got 0 0.1 or 1 tenth the weight plus 50 when the dog weighs more than 100 pounds. All I did was copy this straight over from yesterday's lesson. Okay, let's take a look at number two. Miriam must feed a dog that weighs 57 pounds. Which piece of the feeding function would Miriam use and explain your answer? And then use your answer to part A to evaluate A of 57. So, <clears throat> the dog weighs 57 pounds, right? Well, these are my restrictions. 0 to 20 pounds, 20 pounds to 100 pounds inclusive, and bigger than 100 pounds. So are we going to be using function 1, function 2, or function 3? Right. We should be using the second function. So we're going to be using 1 half w plus 10 because the dog is between 20 and 100 pounds. All right, let's take a look. It says use the answer to part A. So use this 1 half W plus 10 and evaluate A of 57. So we're going to do 1 half of 57 plus 10. Getting 28.5 plus 10 would mean that we feed the dog 38.5 ounces of food. All right, Oops. let's take a look at part um, number three, sorry. To graph a piecewise defined function in your calculator, enter the function into y equals in dot mode using parentheses to indicate the domain intervals. So it says you would enter this as y1 equals x squared minus x parentheses x greater than sorry x less than one plus x plus two 
parentheses x greater than or equal to 1. All right. It says when graphing a piecewise defined function, it is necessarily it is necessary to graph each piece of the function only for its appropriate intervals of the domain. Graphing the feeding function of on the axis below. When finished, your graph should consist of three line segments. All right. So I want to talk about this. I'm actually going to graph this in three separate colors just so we can see the pieces here. A of W equals W from 0 to 20. Well, that would be a vertical line going up one over one, up one over one, not vertical, sorry, diagonal. Up one over one, up one over one. Pay attention because across the bottom, they go by 20s, but along the side, they go by 10s. <clears throat> well, I know that if a dog is zero pounds, the dog is going to get zero ounces of food. I'm going to put that as an open circle because, well, I know that I can't technically have a zero pound dog. Okay. If the dog is 20 pounds, the dog would get 20 ounces of food. So I'm going to do an open circle there. And it is a vertical, vertical diagonal line from there to there. So I'm going to graph this and use a straight edge to make sure my line's straight. Something like that. Okay. So my purple line is A of W equals W. Let's take a look at, I'm going to graph the next one in green, okay? This one was A of W equals 1 half W plus 10. All right. Well, my lowest number that I can put in there is 20, right? So let's see what happens if I plug in 20. 1 half of 20 plus 10. 20 comma 20. So I'm going to put a dot there because we had the equal to parts. So I'm going to put closed circle right there. Now the biggest dog in this section is a hundred pound dog, right? So we're going to do one over two times a hundred plus 10, 60. So a hundred comma 60. 40, 60. Again, I'm going to close the circle because it was equal to. And it should be all those points from here to here. Remember that these are linear functions. So if I graph my starting and my ending, I should be able just to plot the point. I mean, draw the, connect the dots, okay? Something along the lines like that, okay? Now, let's take a look. We'll do the last one in blue. A of W equals 0.1 W plus 50. All right. Well, it says that the smallest that these dogs can be down to 100, but not including 100. So let's just see what would happen if I plug in 100, okay? 0.1 times 100 plus 50. 60. What do you know? So I'm going to do an open circle there. Because recall that this was not equal to. All right. Well, my picture cuts off at 160. So let's just see what would happen if we actually had a 160 pound dog. 0.1 times 160 plus 50. They would get 66 ounces. Well, I see 70 and I see 60. 
It's going to be a little bit more than halfway, right? So let's see. I can do this as a closed circle because it's anything bigger than 100. So it could equal 160. And I'm going to connect these dots. Something along the lines of that. <clears throat> so we go up at a one to one ratio. Here we go up at a one to two ratio. So for every 10 we go up, we go over 20. No, yeah. Here it's at a point one ratio. So for every 10 we go up, we go over a hundred. So very slow approaching. On to the next set of questions.